Hello, Divine Feminines, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, Divine Feminine, it's Twin Flame Tuesday. Let's do a reading for you, right? Um, I've already got your oracles out. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. You guys know the drill, you're pros at this, right? And thank you, 1111 is on the clock right now. Perfect time to do your reading, Divine Feminine. Thank you, everyone, for all of your love and support, you guys. All the beautiful comments. Thank you so much for that. Um, I love you guys right back. For those of you leaving comments. And keep the nicknames coming. I love the nicknames. Um, thank you to all of my subscribers. A big thank you to you. And welcome to everybody new here. Um, you can call me Mammy Becca, Lulu. Okay, that's a good one too. <laughs> all right, so Divine Feminine, let's talk about your energy first. Okay. Here you are out in the sun, right, um, being balanced in your emotions. You're feeling good. Look at the pleasant look on your face. Like, I feel like you may be single right now, but you're happy being single. You like, I feel like you like your personal time. You like your alone time, okay? And you've been working really hard, so recently you've decided to take some time for yourself. I feel like you've been guided to do this. Get out in the sunlight. Clear your head. Um, maybe get into some water, okay? Do some um, maybe spiritual baths. You could be um, going to a lake, a swimming pool, something like that, okay? Um, you could be um, a Sagittarius, maybe a Leo, but not necessarily. You're just taking on that energy, right? It almost feels like you're um, you're a leader in something. Okay, you're um, a, you're kind of um, in this go getter kind of energy, like um, going after the things that you want in your life, things that make you happy, things that make you feel good. That's what your focus is on. You know, you could be like a leader at work or a leader in your home. You know, you could um, or just be taking taking control of your life and your future right now, clearing your mind and your energy of everything from the past. I'm also picking up on a lot of oils. When I, when this card came out, I almost forgot that part. You could be maybe taking some baths with, with essential oils. You could, ooh, my ear just went out. So you could also be um, getting some messages from the divine, Okay, heavy messages from the divine, um, anointing. It just feels like a lot of anointing energy here with the oils. I don't know, there's something about oils. Look at it, and that's what, kind of what you're holding in your glass right here. Um, you, could be, you could be making your own line of perfume, okay, is what I'm hearing. Or you could, you could be coming home smelling like perfume because now I'm smelling it. Okay, you smell wonderful. <laughs> you do. Oh, you smell good. But something about your skin and oils. Or it could be that you're putting like, I don't know, maybe coconut oil if you're out in the sun, right? I'm, I'm picking up on a coconut smell. Um, yeah, flowers and coconut is what you smell like, Divine Feminine. Like, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful scent. If you're creating your own scent, your own line of perfume, man, it's it's gorgeous. Okay, drop a comment. Let Or, I don't know, put it, um, I don't know, put a comment in my community page or something. But, yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, because I want that perfume. Okay, <laughs> you smell really good. Um, something about maybe, I don't know, lilies or something like that. Your name could be Lily. You're putting some oils maybe in your hair. Something about oils is significant, okay? And your skin, it's beautiful. Um, some of you could even be pregnant. Congratulations. Or you're birthing something new. This could be you getting that line of perfume out there, launching it. Okay, I feel like you're launching something here, but also taking time for yourself. Okay, focusing on um, more your needs right now and turning those needs into a creative idea that you may be able to profit from. 
okay like um you like lavishing yourself with oils they smell really good that's how you got this idea of starting your own line of perfume it works like that okay you like the smell of your suntan lotion right so you put that coconut scent in there and boom it's brilliant okay i want some of it i mean it could be anything i feel like you're creating something new here Okay, it doesn't have to be oils and perfumes, you guys. It could be anything. Okay, something about candles as well. I'm seeing bracelets. I'm seeing a book. Look, you could be writing a book. Okay, um, I feel like you've been working really long hours, maybe on a creative project, whatever this is. So you're taking time for yourself. You're treating yourself. You're being really good to yourself right now. And you're happy. And the sun card is happiness. So you're good all on your own. You could be maybe taking a vacation. You could be out in the sun enjoying a beach, a swimming pool. Okay, you're having this victory. And you're feeling strong. I feel like this is you. Yeah, look, this just gives me like um, day spa energy. Okay, you're definitely on your temple path with the three. You're on the right path. You are definitely on the right path. So you're kind of like relaxing a little bit. Like, you know, um, where you kind of just, you know, you, you take a step back. You, you slow down a little bit. You've, you're on the right path. You're headed straight towards this temple. Um, you know you're standing strong. You've built a good, strong, solid foundation for yourself. So now you get to kind of like take a deep breath, okay, and relax a little. I love this energy for you, but I am feeling day spa energy, okay? Day spa oils. You could be getting a massage, all right, just releasing all of that stress, releasing worry okay releasing any kind of anxiety getting some rest here look you you are tired but then you wake up the next morning feeling revived okay you're getting your strength back your energy back because you've been guided to take time for yourself all right now you've you've built a solid foundation for you this could be a business that's growing into a success or you can see it happening for you in the future you feel that sure about it do you know what i'm saying as you should so um you're abundant you're stable you're um doing fun things getting out there having fun in the sun being happy taking good care of yourself, beautiful, strong, smart, knowledgeable, driven, motivated, balanced in your emotions. You're like, you've got it going on right now, Divine Feminine. And then in the energy that you're in, it's very attractive. Like, I feel like you're attracting the attention of a lot of people, but you may not even notice it because your mind, your mind is on this creative project or more spiritual learning your mind is on your path so you're not really even noticing that there's people around you that like want you really bad is what i'm think is what i'm feeling okay like everywhere you go you could be turning heads and not even noticing because you're extremely focused okay you know your mind is still at work here on a project but the more you relax the more creative energy is going to flow and I feel like that's what's happening, okay? You're relaxing a little bit and the creative juices are just flowing. But here's the thing. Um, there's a whole community of people here. There's a group of feminines, um, possibly three feminines, that are trying to pretend that they're living the same kind of life you are. They're living beyond their means, but they're broke. Okay, and I feel like they're, um, they want to look flashy. They want, you know, they want, if you're going to a day spa, they want to pretend they're going to a day spa. So they'll put up a backdrop, <laughs> right? You're at, at the actual spa and they're like, oh, we have to pretend that, um, that we're doing this as well, that we're pampering ourselves as well. But they don't have the money to do this. So what these 
I feel like it's three feminine energies. What they're doing is using this masculine's energy to keep up with this fake, fake lifestyle. It's like they're, they're all competing with you. A whole group of women are competing with you, Divine Feminine pretending that they've got the same kind of lifestyle you do, the same kind of energy you do. You know, here you they see you maybe um, looking good in this little white outfit, so they've got to go and try to find the same white outfit. Do you see what I'm saying here? You know, and this behind them, that's just a, a backdrop. It's a Christmas backdrop. Look at there's like Christmas lights here. <laughs> that they try to pretend is the day spa like the one that you're in okay that they want to they want to try to pretend that they're living the same kind of lifestyle you are they have the same kind of abundance you are they're pretending that they're having the same kind of victory you are and that they're just as happy but the reality is behind the scenes this is just a facade they're fronting okay this is pretend all right be behind the scenes the reality of it is they are flipping broke they've got nothing it's bare bones some of these um, one or maybe even all of these women may not even have another job you know they may not have a job they're very karmic -y. they're in a they're wrapped up in a karmic storm or creating one and doing this and I feel like um, they're going to be sending this masculine to the poor house if they keep living this way. They can't keep up with your lifestyle. These haters that are trying to, um, they're like trying to copy you or make other people think that they're living this lavish lifestyle. Okay, um, the more they try to do this, the more they drain this masculine of their finances. And now this masculine is, is left with all the bills, right? They're left with all of the financial burdens of, the, of these women's toxic lifestyle. And I feel like they are women, okay? I feel like they are women, okay? And now that this masculine is having a whole lot of anxiety, they know that um, they're about to like, I mean, they're going bankrupt. They're going bankrupt. I feel like they're about to cut these feminines off of any kind of financial support, any kind of help. It may be making um, these, these um, women, fi uh, feminine energies, very ang anxious, giving them a lot of anxiety because they're not going to know what to do. They don't have anything. They're only pretending. They're only pretending because they're trying so desperately to compete with you but they can't compete where they don't compare. Okay, so they're trying really hard to at least compare. <laughs> right? I don't know. It's, it's, and I feel like it's all for social media. You know, what they do is they'll take these pictures, I, um, pictures of themselves or post and try to brag about what they're doing. And I mean, I feel like they're spending a lot of money on clothes, on looks, you know, some of these people want to be, they want to look just like you. Okay? They're trying to look like you. They're trying to live your lifestyle. And they cannot keep up. And neither can this masculine. Hi. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm leaving. Okay, have a great I day. started a washer and a dryer. Okay. All right, have a great day. Sorry about that. <laughs> Yeah, but you see, here's the thing, though. Divine Feminine, you're an earth angel. You're the angel of love. And all of that loving energy that you put out into the universe, helping other people, caring for other people, being nurturing and kind to other people, all of that energy is being returned to you now. Okay? Um, so I feel like you, you are in a time of abundance and happiness. Okay, spirit has brought you to, to some stability here. But these people, I feel like all they did was be, they put out envious and jealous energy. They probably sent you some bad juju, some spiritual attacks. These, this is, these are women who have grouped up to go against you. I feel like they're all jealous of you. 
okay? And they're all trying to be fake and pretend that they're doing as well as you are, and they're not. All of that negative energy that they've been putting out there, it's all coming back to them. In a big karmic storm like a cyclone, okay? Yes, bare bones, thank you, spirit. So spirit is, is like telling me, when I was looking at these cards, um, I feel like maybe stock up on some things like food, water, that kind of thing, I, especially if there's like... Um, like maybe if you live on a coastline, because I'm seeing like um, hurricane energy here, okay? Hurricane, cyclone, a lot of water. It may be um, difficult to get to a grocery store. Something like that is coming up for someone possibly on a coastline or, yeah, so just be aware of that. But back to the karmic situation, these are all karmic feminines. Okay, they're living a fake lifestyle, right, um, at the expense of someone else. I feel like this is your ex, okay, um, and I feel like they know that they're going into the poorhouse. These women are driving this person to the poorhouse. They do have a lot of worries, okay. Their, their accounts may already be cleaned out. Like it's and it's just gonna st it's gonna get worse. Like there's um, maybe these these three women somehow have made some charges or something that this person doesn't even know about yet. I mean, they're gonna go bankrupt here. They are. They're going bankrupt. Um, because they they're being I don't know these. It's like they're financially supporting these women and these women are living a lifestyle they can't keep up with this masculine i feel like they're going to go off when they find out that their bank account has been cleaned out they may have like one pentacle left enough to maybe start something new and i feel like they're going to cut these feminines off they can feel it it's about to happen okay um they're feeling a lot of anxiety all of these people are You know, so this masculine is going to get really big, flipped out, mad. Um, yeah, they, they're completely cleaned out. Archangel Michael is out here. I kind of get the sense that this is a divine masculine that has been urged to get some kind of strength. They've been urged to get some confidence and some belief in themselves. And they've been urged to, to take a stand against these three women. Okay, I'm kind of getting the sense that Archangel Michael is trying to give this masculine the power to stand up to these three. Okay, what else can you show me? Yeah, all tied up. I feel like this person is, this masculine is all in their head about you. They're realizing here, Divine Feminine, that this person should have chosen you to begin with. They should have never um, either stayed with these feminines. Now, these feminines, it doesn't have to be, it could be maybe a karmic and the karmic's family. It could be sisters. It could be families and fr family members and friends. Um, but there are three women around this person that are ruining their finances, Okay. But yeah, this person, this, um, this ex, this masculine, they just want you. You're all that they can think about is when they had somebody who actually cared about them. The, this is a masculine who's realizing that the people that they invested in instead of you don't even care about what happens to them in the future. They, they never cared about them to begin with. They only cared about money. And that could have been why this masculine walked away from you. Maybe they saw you as not having enough money. Okay? Maybe you were in a time of struggle. I feel like they underestimated you. They didn't think you had enough to offer. Okay? And now their finances are being drained. And they're realizing that these three that they invested in, 
that they've been spending all their time and energy on, those women only wanted them for money. It's almost like um, a, a reverse effect here. They, they, judged, they misjudged you for, for thinking you didn't have enough of it, and they, they chose people here who took all of what they had away. Okay, and that's karma. That's karma. And now you are abundant, financially stable, maybe even starting a business, a project. You're going to be expanding in the future. Okay? Um, and this person now, they're, they're finished financially. All they can think about is the one that they left behind, and that's you, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Yep. And it's like at the time, this person had a decision to make, okay? Um, they, could, they could have chosen you, or they could have chosen to put their attention and energy into these three karmic individuals, okay? So instead, instead of choosing you, the one who actually cared about them... You just cared about them. I feel like you didn't care about their money. You just cared about them. All you wanted to do was love this person. And instead of choosing this caring connection, they chose these karmic individuals with some dark attachments. And they're realizing that now. Yep, but I feel like it's too late, okay? I feel like it's too late. I feel like spirit is already... Um, kind of ushering you into a whole new beginning because you you were just on a spiritual path all you wanted to do was give this person love that's it and be loved in return but they left you behind because they didn't think that was enough and now they're seeing that that was everything they should have chosen you out of everyone that they were dealing with here you were the only one that truly cared about them so it's like a, a realization. Divine timing here coming out with the um, earth angel energy. Okay, this is all in divine timing. This person finally realizes the whole truth about everything. Okay, and now I feel like all they can think about is their goddess of the moon, the angel of love. You could be a cancer. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy Virgo. Um, you could be a Leo. Yeah, heavy Leo too. Yep, now this person wants to come chasing after you, Divine Feminine. Okay. Now they want to completely do a, a 180, turn this thing around and come chasing after you now. Yeah, now they realize this must be love. The man holding the heart. They realize that, um, and this is like, it's almost like the uh, two people holding hearts here. But yours, it's feel, it feels like your love and your feelings and your respect for this person are fading. Okay, look at how these two hearts, yours is fading. Okay, because you're filling your new life now with new things. All right, and the feelings that you had before, that passion, it's fading. The respect you had for them, it's fading. Any trust you had for them, I feel like that's completely broken. You know, now they realize they love you. This feels like almost like unrequited love. If this person can't get you back, they're always going to be pining for you. They're always going to be thinking about you, you know. But they are about to come chasing. Okay? They want to come chasing. They want another chance with you. They want another chance to be happy. They know with you, they could build a happy future. With the people they chose over you, though, these three women, their future looks really bleak. Okay? It, this is almost like a tower coming down. Like they, they sort of have to rebuild now. They're going to have to rebuild their finances for sure. All right. So this person, they're coming in, but they may not have a whole lot. You know, I feel like you never cared about their money to begin with. 
but if this person has burdens that they had like um financial responsibilities that they have to pay for from all of this mess you don't want them bringing that into your relationship if you were thinking about getting back together with them you're going to have a decision to make because they are coming in to um, tell you how they feel about you. They're coming in hoping they'll get another chance because they want to build a happy life with you. They know now that being with you is where their happiness is. Okay? So get ready um, and just know that this person's been completely cleaned out, though, of all of their money. They are coming to you bankrupt. I feel like that's something that you should be aware of, okay? Because you definitely don't want them, you want to make sure they're not going to be dependent on you. They need to be able to stand on their own two feet and be independent in their own right, okay? Yeah. Anyway, Divine Feminine, I'm going to take this into the extended. This person is about to approach, and I want to see what happens, okay? Um, so we're going to look into what they're going to say, all right, how that um, talk is going to go, and, um, you know, whatever spirit wants us to know. If you're interested in that extended, there's a link to follow in the description box below that will take you straight to Patreon. Yay! I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, just give me time to do the video, right? And um, yeah, I hope this helps, my darlings. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, Divine Feminine, take care of you and peace out.